we as Muslims don't really appreciate. The only time we will appreciate this is when our, light, our, our eyes will shut. I was just saying before the first Juma that all the people in the world who pass by, all those rich people, rich Kuffar, Arun, Haman, Shaddad, Firaun, all the people you can think of who had vast amounts of wealth and who passed by. In today's term, they would have been multi-billionaires because now we don't say about millionaires. Now America is about billionaires. So these multi-billionaires, I ask, see these young guys, they know. The guy who makes the car, the automatic car, what's he called? Uh, Tesla. Uh, what's his name? Elon Musk. Elon Musk. They say he's the richest man on the earth. Huh? So everybody wants to be like him, including me. Because who doesn't like money? Everybody likes money. And especially when you live in a capitalist country like in the US, everybody wants to have money. Nobody wants to work. They just want to have money. This is fitrat of insan. And there's nothing wrong in one thing, dunya for the hereafter. That's why we make a dua from the Quran. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adabanna. But with all that wealth, may Allah guide him and all those who are alive, may Allah guide them. With, with all this wealth, they will not be able to buy the hereafter. And you and I, inshallah, we have no wealth. We don't have huge bank balances. But if we go with La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah, then that subhanallah we will say now, say subhanallah. That subhanallah we will say now is worth more than million trillions of Elon Musk. Allah uh, Don't ever think that Allah has not blessed you. Allah has blessed you with Iman. Inna alladheena amanu wa aminu salihat kanat lahum jannatul firdausi nuzula. Are you not what jannah is? You know what the Jannah is? Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, مَا لَا عِنُنْ رَأَتْ وَلَا أُذُنُنْ سَمِعَتْ وَلَا خَطَرْ عَلَىٰ قَلْبِ بَشَرْ The eye has not seen, the ears have not heard of, the heart has not thought of, it doesn't come. We see this, these trees and this, and we find, Alhamdulillah, that we enjoy it. Even though we have to pray Jummah outside, but we enjoy it. Why? Because of the greenery and that. Imagine what will Jannah be. Nabi Karim Salaam says that a horse in Jannah, an Arabic horse, if it runs round the shade of a tree for 100 years, it cannot finish. That is Jannah. Ibrahim Alayhi Salaam said, tell your Ummah to say Subhanallah, that is the tree of Jannah. Say to them, Alhamdulillah, that is the tree of Jannah. Say Allahu Akbar, that is the tree of Jannah. Now it's up to you how much trees you want. It's up to us. Allah wa Ta'ala says that Regarding the Kuffar, the Ayat, Inna al-Ladina kafaru, that Allah Ta'ala says about the Kuffar that when they will be on the Day of Judgment, Inna al-Ladina kafaru wa matu wa hum kuffarun falan yukbala min ahadihim milu al-ardi zahaban wa lawif talabi. Those who disbelieved. Now I said something in the, in the first, before the first Jummah, that my brothers, we have to be careful of our children. That today I read something, which is a little worris worrisome. That in America by the year 2033, 50% of Americans will not believe in God at all. This is something to be scared of because our children are also born here. They grow up here. Most probably they will live all their life here. 
and we came from back home. Alhamdulillah, whatever our parents did for us, at least they kept us in Iman. They did enough that we are here sitting here in this day and we are doing Salah. Now we have to do more than that because our challenge is more than theirs. Because our children are attacked from every side. Sometimes we dislike something. That you dislike something and Allah has made fair in it for you. And you like something and Allah has made shar for you. With COVID-19, we dislike it. But maybe there is khair in this. That Allah wants to bring back the whole of humanity towards back towards Him. Because who created this? Allah did. All these theories that it was created in a lab and this. No. Because who created the lab? Who created the person who made the lab? Allah did. I give an example that look, now this branch that is moving a little bit, who moves it? Allah does. The sun that is shining over us, who makes it shine? Allah does. That Allah send us on end of the month a bill that we have to pay. Or Allah send us a bill that the, the air that we are breathing. Today in one country they are run out of oxygen in the hospitals. People are willing to pay tens of thousands of dollars for one canister of oxygen. And Allah provides us oxygen free all the time. We don't need to ask anybody. So shouldn't we do shukr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So Allah wa ta'ala says that those who disbelieve inna ladina kafaru wa matu wa hum kuffarun on the day of judgment if they will bring all their wealth all their billions and billions and billions and they will ask Allah that oh Allah take all this wealth and give me a small six by six area in Jannah wa matu wa hum kuffarun falain yukbala min ahadihim mil ardi zahaban walau iftadabi Allah will not give them anything for them, there is a severe torment, severe adab. It is hurtful. When their body will burn, the skin will burn off their body, Allah will change the, the skin again, and then He will re-burn it again, and this will keep happening. Because in this world, when we are hurt, the mass of our body is skin. If it penetrates the skin, and if we live, then okay. Generally in a fire, when a person is burnt, if he's 70%, 80% burnt, they don't live. After that, they die. But in Jahannam, they will be changed. The skin will be changed again and again. So, So, my dear brothers, Allah has given us this opportunity. We should take this, this guarantee of life. Make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That Allah gives shifa to the whole people, wherever they are. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard our iman. And the iman of our coming generations. Because I mentioned it, a waqiyah, then I'll finish. That a few years ago, I was imam in Masjid Nur. And I saw an old man sitting there crying. So I went up to him and I asked him, my brother, what are you crying for? Chacha, what are you crying for? So he said to me, Imam Saab, it was about November time, it was Thanksgiving time. So he said, my children came from other states, son and daughter, both are doctors, one is a gynecologist, one is a cardiologist. So he said, they sat me down and they said, Abu, we know you are becoming old now. Mashallah, he's still alive. I, he told me this 10 years ago. He said, you are becoming old now, soon you will die. Soon? Kaun ke rahe? Bache ke rahe. Soon you will die. So we want to respect your last wishes because they are American. So we want to this. So when you die, we will make sure that you are. They take you to the local masjid, they give you ghusl, they give you kafan. Tajheez, Takfeen, and they do Janaza Salah upon you. We will stay until then. 
So he thought, why are they speaking like this to me for? So then they told him, both doctors, they told him, that Abu, you gave us a great education. You made sure that we went to school, we went to university, colleges, we got the best degrees, we earned a lot of money. But we are not Muslim. We are not Muslim. And don't talk to about Islam. You talk about some text that is from the 6th century Quran. You talk about some guy called Muhammad. Uh, this is true. Uh, I'm opening your ears. You call, they talk about some guy called Muhammad. And somebody they say who's in the sky. Uh, welcome to America. If you have not been welcomed, today I welcome you. That means, not sarcastically, it means that we have to think about our coming generations. Should we only think about their dunya, or also we should think about their akhirah? Because on the day of judgment, these same children will grab us. And they will say, oh Allah, he used to go to the masjid, he used to practice Islam, but he never told me who Allah was. He never showed me how to do sajda. So the, the responsibility is on you and I and every one of us. How do we deal with our children? Do we just worry about their dunya? How many of us today worried about our children that did my son or daughter wake up for Fajr Salah? Did they do Fajr Salah? If we did, Alhamdulillah. And if we didn't, it's not too late still. We can still start in the home, but not by force by giving them encouragement. Tell them, come to the masjid. You know, sometimes come to the masjid, if they never come to the masjid, explain to them, come to the masjid, there's something there, tranquility, peace, come. Whichever masjid is close to your house, go there. I'm not saying come to this masjid only. Whichever masjid is come close to your house, take your children there, take your family there. We take them everywhere else. So my dear brothers, May Allah give me tawfiq first and foremost, and all of us, that we stay, stay steadfast in our deen. And may Allah make us and our children beacons of hidayat for the rest of mankind.